This is kicker.com. Look, I've always loved golf. Absolutely love golf. Um, I had a great opportunity this week in the Senior Open um, to caddy for my great friend Peter O'Malley, who's a fantastic uh, Australian legend on the golf tour. Uh, played on the European tour for a long, long time. He's become a good friend. We've played the Dunhill Lynx Championship, I think, seven times. Um, yeah, we've all, we just get along really, really well. We both enjoy a glass of wine after a game of golf, but um, we both enjoy each other's company. It's also the experience of doing a different sport too. So, yeah, look, I had the opportunity to do that at Sunningdale, which I, I know the course very, very well here in England, and uh, I really enjoyed that. Um, but I tell you what, those caddies earned their money because it was a hard walk up Sunningdale with a heavy bag. I thought um, Pudo O'Malley was just stitching me up because it was the first time I was a caddy and put a couple of bricks in the bag. And every time we went to a water hole, he'd put about four or five bottles of water in the bag. So <laughs> it got heavier and heavier climbing up those hills. But um, yeah, look, he was a great guy, great opportunity. And just to watch those guys firsthand, the way they hit the ball is just absolutely sensational. Um, for me, you know, it's sort of a bit of a far-fetched uh, dream or an idea that I'd love to have a crack at the senior tour. Um, my game's nowhere near good enough at the moment, um, but I have shot a couple under a few times. I shot in the Dunhill Lynx Championship last uh, two years ago. Um, I, shot, I think I shot 70 uh, in the Lynx Championship and played pretty well. So I know I can do that, but it's only one seven of blue moons. So I just got to get more consistent, which means I can put more time in. If I could put the time in, and you had five or six years to practice and put four or five hours in a day, then there might be a chance to get right down to a scratch or plus marker. But um, yeah, look, it's a far-fetched idea. It's a dream that hopefully one day I might be able to do it. But um, yeah, look, I, there's a few of us cricketers guys that have talked about it. Ricky Ponting's probably the best golfing guy. Uh, Tim Henman would be the only other guy from a non, not his number one sport. Henman and Ponting would be the two best, uh, yeah, best golfers that I've seen. Um, you know, one for tennis, one cricket, but they're probably the two best golfers I've seen, and they hit the ball really well. But Ricky Ponting still can't beat me, so it's nice. The first and exclusive updates. Join now.